Yeah, hello oh, everybody. Yeah, we gotta be professional well, now. Welcome to the SFL final, also known as the Shawnee Shithair Bowl, or maybe just the Shithair Bowl, I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, I'm Gorilla Mezzo, with me is... No, I'm not. I'm Jim McMahon, he confused me by calling me Tarsus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. You can see us both down there in the corner. Um, we don't move much, but there you go. And uh, in the final, we've got Squirrel Dude with his Dark Elves and Wolfbark with his Kislev. And uh, there you go. Hello, Gorilla. Hello, hello. Uh, did you turn off commentary? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. We've got commentary on here. We've got French commentary. I find it very amusing. <laughs> so if you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> there you go. Um, I am having a complete identity crisis. So yeah, it's interesting. We've got a mighty blow block tackle. That's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good killer. Piling on is banned in SFL. Um, so a mighty blow lineman is a lot better than he would have been if he could have had might. You know, if he could have had Palm on his blitzers, um, a guarder, a dodger. And also, wizards are banned, so he has got two babes. Interesting. All right, Jim. So, what do you think? What does uh, what does uh, what does uh, Squirrel Dude have to do to win this game? Oh, oh, it's Squirrel Dude. So Squirrel Dude has scummed a bit. Well, not scummed a bit. Bought a bit, and then Wolfbark has got an extra, an extra reroll and a bit two babes. Maybe I don't know. Um, what does Squirrel Dude have to do to win this game? That just, was the question. Just dance around being a, being a Dark Elf team and then eventually win. That's a top notch, top notch analysis. Now what about, uh, what about the Kislev? What do they have to do to win this game? Um, he's got to roll two dice, he's got to make two dice blocks and hope he gets lucky. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be a thrilling matchup. <laughs> We've set the scene and we are off, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to score. They both win by scoring more touchdowns than the opponent. <laughs> 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 Fucking cat six All right, here comes the first two D, and it is a knockdown. And there's the armor break. So far, Wolfbark making all the right decisions. Might have considered removing him from the pitch rather than the stun, but it's still early, Jim. Also, he could have followed up and piled on had Pylon been allowable <laughs> and taken on his blitzer. Um, he does have this stand firm. This stand firm diamond tackle guy is good. Like his diamond tackle characters are pretty decent against elves. Yeah. He probably does want a tag team with the tackler to make them not easy to get away from, you know, and stuff. But uh, yeah, you know, the, the, the diamond tackle dudes are all right. The Crox is all right. So, you know, he's got some weapons against elves. But mostly it's going to be how the mighty blow of both teams works, really. They've both got 12 men, they've both got mostly armor eight with uh, a mighty blow blitz every turn, so. Do you think Squirrel Dude is set up here to try and score a little bit quicker than, uh, than a, you know, than the classic uh, eight turn stall, moving that wrestler kind of down pitch there, maybe worried about the, uh, the leap ins from the kiss lab, which you really can't avoid. Yeah, I think he's probably gonna try and hold back and do a kind of, try and do a more classic elf stall this game. That's, uh, I believe that's what he did last time they played. Um, I don't like that play by. Ah, uh, no, actually, I do like it by Wolfbark, of course, because she's got frenzy, so couldn't get away after hitting him, so thus giving him the block back. But she is blood step, so it's not that good. Um, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I think that's probably what Squirrel Dude's plan is to try and play kind of uh, try to play it like. Um, you know, like something. In yeah, English. yeah, very, 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 uh, very good. Yeah, very like good an elf store. That's the one, like an elf store. <laughs> and he's going to chain this guy. No, he's not going to chain this guy away. He's not going to chain this guy away. I would have chained that guy away to hit, hit the uh, hit the bear, right? He's not going to do that. I'm not entirely sure. He's just going to leave, uh, leave a lineman against that bear, I guess. Yeah, and he may pay for that with a vicious neck crank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
He fails his two plus dodge. It was actually, of course, a four plus dodge thanks to the damning tackles. So, but um, there you go. Yeah, that's bizarre. I'm, I'm not a fan of the Dauntless. I feel like he could have got Blodge Firm. That would have been much better than a Dauntless dude. I don't know what he was thinking with that dog with that with Dauntless instead of Dodge. Not a fan of that on Wolfbark. Wolfbark splitter there. Winnie the Pooh. What do you think? I, if you look at if you I don't know if you can see uh, Sco mm -hmm. Gorilla, but that guy called Fault Force there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Fault Force that's on the ground, right? Yeah, the one that I've got. Highlighted. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, what do I think about his uh, his Dauntless? Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess the the thinking is that. No, oh yeah, no, I don't like it. I was gonna say, I guess the thing is, is that's who he's gonna cage dive with, but that doesn't make any sense on a strength three guy as is, and that's not his, that's not his cage diver. I assume the mighty blow tackler is. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I don't really get it. I don't really get it at all. To be no. honest, I guess maybe what he's thinking is he can. No, because anyone who's gonna base him up, unless he was going up against like chaos warriors and black Loops or something. <laughs> well, he's doing oh, exactly what I said. He's making two dice blocks and rolling well. Yeah, this time he did hear the commentary, uh, and it was sage advice from the former champ, Skirmetso, uh, to remove him from the pitch, and he followed through with that this time, and that's going uh, to help him out a little bit. Well, as much as following through does help out, following through is usually not something you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Get uh, fucked, you little what cunt! Is, uh, what squirrel got for a bench? <laughs> Just off. one guy? Pardon? What squirrel got for a bench? Just one guy? Just one guy, yep. Yeah. Well, he, he does get the he does get the stun on his block back with a jump up. Yeah, fair enough, Bezel, yeah. But I, I, yeah, I don't like the I don't like the I don't like the stand firm second either, yeah, true. But I think if you're going stand firm second, then go dodge, right? To or, or guard afterwards. Like it's it's not that it's synergy as well, like. Just weird. You know, Wolfbark's a good player, so he must have a reason for it. I just don't know what it is. I don't. I didn't like that from a scroll dude. I've got to be honest with you. That was an armor seven guarder. You do not want to expose an armor seven guarder to a mighty blow tackle blitz, do you? And Wolfbark pounced on that opportunity and did get lucky enough to uh, remove him. That's guy's in big danger of getting surfed. I don't like him standing him up at all there, if you're not going to dodge away. I feel like that was a mistake from a Squire L dude. What do you think, Gorilla? Uh, I, yeah, I was looking at the other side. I was like, I don't see how he serves it. But yeah, you're talking about the wrestler yeah, on, the, on the right right now. Yeah, that's a... That's a pretty easy start. I mean, it's going to take, you know, a quarter of his team to do it while the ball's going to the other side and getting a little bit consolidated, but it's still probably worth doing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate doing it. That's a, not, the best, uh, not the best dub skulls to roll. No. Probably should have reconsidered that. No, not a good idea to roll the risk uh, if you If you play Blood Bowl at home and you're looking for advice, try and not roll double skulls. Um, certainly don't roll them six times in one match. So, uh, Squirrel Dude there was relying on dodging away from the Prehensile Tail to prevent a 2D on the ball. Um, a little risky, but it did work out. He got it, didn't he? He rolled, right. he rolled good dice, so that's all that matters. There's a free reroll on it, but even still. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He could tag the ball with, um... With the uh, with a diving tackle and with a tail, right? Both stand Yeah, firm. absolutely. Yeah, yep. he's I'm not going for that. that. But he could have. I mean, it. getting that bear on on three elves isn't the worst thing either. No. <clears throat> Might blow tackle the witch. I mean, he could, but he could also hit this guy, couldn't he? He is only movement six, of course. That is another disadvantage of Mighty Blow on the lineman. He is only movement six. He's going to have to GFI the blitz of this character. He is not going for the surf. Ah, <coughs> uh, 
I mean, he's in range of that witch now to get counter serve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a, I, again, it's the opposite side of the pitch from what matters right now, but it's there. Yeah, it's there. Um, yeah, yeah, Lemon, you see, fuck is censored, but fuck bear isn't. <laughs> very, very, very important uh, Blood Bowl lesson for all you up and coming coaches looking to uh, properly uh, name your team. Yes, you can't name your team something like shit or cunt. But you can name it shit cunt. <laughs> Brilliant. I think you're right. I think he might go for the uh, witch. I wouldn't mind going for the uh, the blitzer though. Oh, he's not going for anybody. What's huh, he doing? I'm surprised that guy is not making blitz this turn. So who is he blitzing with then? He's Just blitzing with a blitzer back? to get him to get him back. Yeah, I guess so. I don't really like this from Wolfpark unless it's I don't know. Uh, the break helps him out. That oh. would have been a free. That would have been a very free surf if uh, he didn't get that uh, that armor yeah. break in as. Yeah, that was super lucky. It was super, not only your AV break, but also removal. But just the AV break was lucky enough. Otherwise, he stands him up and surfs that dude. Yep. Wow. Look at dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, J5. <laughs> J5, oh god. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a tactic he employed in his uh, first round game against Skiramezzo, uh, where the first three turns took about, uh, you know, about the length of a rebel of a, of a rebel match before things got going. Uh, fatigue and. Uh, Attention deficit disorder definitely set in on Skiramezzo's side by uh, by all accounts. There's our really sideline report. Cost in the game. Tier five. <laughs> <laughs> glorious. <laughs> A glorious bit of sideline reporting from J5. <laughs> <laughs> in the cup. No, I can put you behind the cup. Um, This is gonna. Oh, okay. I thought he was sideline caging for a second. Well, I mean, he is, but yeah. I thought he was going up one more. I was like, well, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got. I gotta say, watching this through Discord is a little disappointing because I can't look at the picture of me, and I prefer looking at myself than a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that one. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> This is the SFL finals between Squire L Dude and Wolfbark. We should uh, we should put this match on the, uh, on the on the show. Yeah, we should. Yeah, it's the repeat. There you go. You're in the cup. <laughs> awesome. That's actually pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that is a problem I've also run into before J5, and I have, like, a top-notch machine that I built specific for, like, 8K video editing three months ago, or six months ago. <laughs> like, and sometimes Blood Bowl will just melt it. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Actually, he's actually using the... Uh... <laughs> He's actually using the, the duck to not drown. Oh, we are we are slowly becoming a Casper stream, I see. <laughs> Very slowly. Right, so there you go. That's uh that's something, isn't it? Do you think you'll try and get the uh the the man on him now, the bear. He could get the bear on him, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. He could get the bear on. I, I, I'd probably consider that. Uh and I'd certainly want to get a diving tackle in on it too. Yeah. Um, because I mean, he's gonna probably just score this turn. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think he should try and dodge and get the uh, the diamond tackle in. Yeah. One, two, yeah. I mean, three. if he scores and uses his last reroll to do it, Wolfbark isn't feeling too bad about you know four turns to score back. Yep. Probably isn't anyway, but. <laughs> Yeah, no, we've got uh, we've got our Wednesday night show following directly following this match. Yeah, uh, maybe on a slight delay. Yep. 
definitely on a slight delay as I'm now looked at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, there you go. I've, uh, I've updated the title. You can't exclamation point card to see the... Uh, to see the card, I did do a little cheeky little card. I did a short stream earlier today, um, which had the card on it, so there you go. And uh, so that's it. <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is Papa Piccolo, and could put the uh, could put the JFW people in the in the in the Blood Bowl too, but. It's just boring having like Sexter's bones and stuff because they're not very interesting, are they? Interesting. Okay, there it is. So he puts tackle in on him. Uh, didn't didn't put the bear in though. And I think he's gonna, gonna go put for yeah tackle, yeah stand firm guy maybe. Yeah, I think he's gonna dodge him out at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't yeah, think he is. Ooh, had to use a reroll there though. That kind of sucks. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, I could double GFI, I guess. Double GFI is better than the leap anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, double GFI him. In. Surely he's going to do that. No, he doesn't. No, wow, I don't like that. No, I don't like it. Maybe he changed his I... plan when he used his reroll, but... Uh... Yeah. I think I would have really liked having him in there. <laughs> Did they? That's great, Basil. Who are the who are the four that aren't? We should put them in. <laughs> we can have the entire SFL. One D, and there it is. That's kind of what I, I kind of called that one. Has to has to waste his last reroll on the score. Whew. On a one D, that's you can't feel too good about that, but he does score. Yeah. And now Wolfbach's got all of his. Three rolls, ready. No, he had to, to use win. one. Oh yeah, that's true. But still, three rerolls for four yeah. turns. He's set up to grind yeah, now, isn't that's he? That's not too bad. But if I know anything about playing Squirrel Dude, and I do, because I was in his division, he will get a blitz here. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done, yeah, Jeff. I would have probably played that half a lot differently. I th I'll tell you what I would have done. I would have made sure that my Mighty Blow players broke armor and made casualties while his mighty blow players didn't break armor and make casualties that's the best way to play <laughs> no I don't know I uh, I don't know I, I think I would have played it differently but um, hey, hey, I'm the you know, who's to I'm say the who's to say whether that's right or wrong he scored didn't he but um, yeah I, I don't know I think after the the first kind of early two removals that Wolf Park had, I would have considered just trying to eight turn it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, right, he's Jeff, he's gonna be real hard pressed to stop Wolf Park from scoring here. If not, have any chance whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, th I think his level kinda of one of those teams that are a bit better on, on defense than offense. So... That's yeah, yeah, sure. But the problem is the zero rerolls versus the three, right? If the, if this was Wolfbark with none and Squirrel Dude with three, you'd really fancy Squirrel Dude to turn him over and and, and go two 0 up. But with it being three rerolls for Wolfbark, you've got to fancy Wolfbark going one, yeah. making it one one. Most of my Kislev experiences against Bizzles, Kislev in various leagues, I feel, and I feel like uh, <laughs> they, they never work very well for him. If I'm recalling correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I was just saying what I what I would plan to happen rather than what would happen. Yeah, I would have, I would have been heavily outbashed and lost in a different way. But it, this is looking it's looking bad for Squirrel, but he hasn't <laughs> lost yet, but it's looking bad, isn't it? It's looking yeah. It's looking like he's on the end of a two one grind, so he's gotta play well. Knuckle up and uh, and you know try to fucking play better. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, kickoff result could be uh, the great equalizer here. It could, yeah. If I were if I were Wolfbark, I would be entirely thinking about defending a blitz personally, just because like that's the one thing that's going to truly just ruin your shot at at, at at scoring back. Yeah. 
It looks like he is setting up that way now. At first, it didn't look like he was. <laughs> no, that's a little loose. No, not gonna matter. Dirty Dino. Forgot I had to click that there. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting here casually waiting for it to go away. <laughs> Isn't it wouldn't. Where is uh where's his receiver for the ball? Is it that guy up there? He's up it's so catchy, far. Yeah. I guess that was his kind there's, of thing. There's no one back, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I guess I guess that's him another player close. It, it, it worked out for him, but like if that had been a deep kick, that would have been pretty troubling. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Look a dog. Mm. But he saw the lack of kick. And he thought it kicks the best skill in the game. <laughs> he hasn't got it, so I've got no fear. Just hitting a shitter. Going for that sweet 75% knockdown gets the removal. And as it happened, he could have gone for one of the better ones, couldn't he? He rolled the power, but I mean, I think it was right to go for the 75% removal, just get a, get a dude. I did generally where I where I would go to. Yeah, get a dude out of here. That is true, he only has one catcher. Um, and, and his catcher is his ball carrier too, isn't it? Yeah, I, I would have... If I had been... If I had been Squirrel Dude... My play on offense, I think, would have been trying to get to his catcher. You know, mm -hmm. try to get a solid hit on his catcher where you tackle mighty blow. And then see if you can take him out on offense, then you're laughing, aren't you? Oh, he's got an edge blitzer as well, has he? Oh, well, yeah, try and take out the edge blitzer as well. <laughs> yeah, both, both, if you can get rid of either of the strength edge four players, that's pretty good, isn't it? Because they're, they're, like, the two plus leaps are ridiculous, really. To be honest. If I could be serious for a minute, um, two plus leaps are pretty, pretty busted. I've been to the three year three thousand, and uh, <laughs> 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 I can tell you, the two plus leaps are pretty powerful. <laughs> um. What's going on here? Yeah, he's very, very minimal protection for his balls. Yeah, I mean, he could get... I mean, I mean it's a strength three guy, so... You can't just, like, one dice him reliably, but, like, that that tackle mighty blow blitzer is technically in range. Yeah, I would, I would like to smash the uh, catcher here, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It does, uh, it does kind of protect you from the surf. He could surf, right? He could just dodge out, 75% dodge through diving tackle, stand here, and then uh, then he could block there and then surf. That's an option. He could go for a cheeky surf. Um, he could just try and punch things in front. I do I do like hitting this this catcher, though. It's my favorite. That would be my favorite thing to do right now. It would just be to smash the fuck out of this catcher. Just fucking... Get, pick him up and uh, running power slam him. Bam. <laughs> Give him an elbow drop. Testicular I'm claw. Everyone who plays not. Oh, stop, Jim. I can only be so erect. <laughs> <laughs> and then finish him off with a brutal neck crank. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen that move in matches before. <laughs> sure have. <laughs> Hasn't stood these guys up. Should have done that first. They're not dodging. He is going to smash. No, he's not. No. Wow, what was that? No. Wow. And uh, uh, appropriately punished there. Uh, listen, I'm not the kind of guy who's ever... I mean, I am the current reigning champion of this league and all. So I guess it is my... Uh, my place to say but that was a very terrible decision running in on the one die yeah on a rando lineman yeah when he's got a, the maybe, dude yeah right. maybe a, maybe a misclick game here uh i don't know that's a yeah that's a really bizarre bizarre decision <laughs> yeah i do not i don't know not know what his plan was 
Uh, yeah, and and the guy had uh, had. Uh, did he have wrestle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. wrestle. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Not what I would have done. <laughs> Must I? Yeah, I, like. I don't really know how he achieved that misclick, if it was a misclick, but I would believe some sort of, you know, brainworm seizure happened before I believe he opted to hit that guy over the catcher. <laughs> you know, oh, he gets the pow. He gets the pow on the, uh, on the bludger. Dirty uh, Dean. Uh, Lemon, the answer to your question is playing it. <laughs> Very good. Probably a shitty computer's fault, yeah, maybe. I don't know what his uh, idea was there. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, no. That was good Good play by Wolfbart, because he hits him with him, because he would at least get the push, and now the, the blood step isn't doing a lot. Oh, no, he's, he hits the wrong character. <laughs> Does get the foul, though. Yeah, he's not the wrong one, I guess, because he has got a guard, and he is armor seven. Oh. Just the stun. I would have been tempted to have gone for the witch elf, though. Person. Not sure. Do you not? Do you think he should have followed there to have a little bit more mobility? I didn't see how much movement he had left. Uh, yeah, he did. So he, he should have definitely followed. Yes, even if he was just going to go back here, he should have definitely yeah. followed. See if he got a Kaz, and then see if he wanted to change tactics afterwards. So yeah, I guess. Like I mean, he still has he still has plenty of time. He still has two turns after this. But uh, yeah, like where is he gonna? He's gonna bring the ball up into that crowd, I guess. But then. Yeah. The entire Dark Elf team can get in front of him now. Yeah. With some dodges. Yep. Hello, Goliath. I guess he's not going to activate his uh, Crocs here. Uh, Sideline reporter J5. Uh, I think we're going to have to have you investigate that blitz decision from last turn. <laughs> See if uh, you can get in touch with the coach and uh, figure out what's going on in half time. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to notice J5 there. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty subtle. Yeah. Yeah, especially, especially for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was subtle as a brick yeah. normal. <laughs> well, I mean, if you point it out every turn, like... <laughs> that's about true, as yeah. about as subtle as we'd expect from him. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh dear. And he just leaves the uh, the blitz ra there as well. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it is, <laughs> blitz ra. I'm I'm surprised he didn't move forward with a blitzer. To be honest. Uh, Stand firm on there. Yeah, he could have maybe got forward with him, but then I guess it's he, he wants him on there as well. So no. Yeah, this. I mean, this really, in my, in my opinion, this this really lets Squirrel Dude have a shot at bogging him down next turn, just yeah. getting all of the elves in front. I mean, yeah, he's got leap, but he's got to protect the ball another turn too. Yeah. I think you should stand this guy up before he does it. Oh, I don't like not standing him up before he does that block. I also don't like not following either. I think, I think a lot of one D's going on here. Oh, he gets the cheeky dodge away. Yeah, it's going to be a struggle for uh, Wolfbark to get the protection forward here as well, isn't it? Like, he might be able to potato forward, yeah. but... It's going to be hard for him to find the protection as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he doesn't have a score threat, so he can't two turn it yeah. or uh, score score this turn. I mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing he, was at least if he moved that blitzer forward, he would have the chance, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he could almost technically chain the chain the stand firm if he wanted to. No, it's all he's two squares away, isn't he? Yeah, that'd be that'd be magical to be able to do that. Probably yeah, yeah he'd, he'd need two big hits to do that. I mean, yeah, at that point, you're better off just looping everyone into a cage on the other side of the darkness. <laughs> yeah, it's probably technically possible. But... <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <whistle. laughs> he can swing right, yeah, but the problem is getting forward, isn't it? Like, I guess he's, he hasn't got to get too far forward, right? Because he, he can go nine. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Jim. We're getting word from J Five that uh, uh, 
uh, Squire L. Dude's comment on his blitz was, quote, that's how we do it in Tejas, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Finger guns in the air and all. So, hey, you know what? Straight shooter, straight shooter squirrel dude didn't work out that time. Does work out for him quite a bit. Has had a lot of success without uh, tasting the Scuramezzo Championship gold uh, in in the SFL. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Interesting. I'm surprised he didn't block with the Crocs, and then he could have blitzed a, a hole through. I guess he's just going to leap. Because he, uh, he is Arch 4, isn't he? He's just going to do the leap. <laughs> oh my god, you're right, J5. <laughs> 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 fucking ripping and tearing, baby. <laughs> it's either that or he's blowing up your inflatable duck. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he didn't. He oh, didn't need to get that far forward, did he? So yeah, he's he's got as far forward as he had to get. Yeah, yeah. I I I've kind of forgot about the leap, but still, he can't support him super well. Um. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no! Well, that's a disaster. Don't roll a and, double uh, one. Looks like Squirrel Dude might be able to. Uh, wriggle out of this mess that he got into yeah he is still a scoring threat though right with a jump up um oh yeah 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 no i mean he's got the scoring threats but you know ball on the ground against elves no tackle zones yeah <laughs> yeah squirrel dude made the mistake of not predicting the snakes and didn't get himself a score threat yes yep yeah but he should have a good turn here squirrel dude to be fair he should, he, yeah. he should be able to, you know, barring shit dice, he should be able to shut it down. Right, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. So, All right. You'll have you to... do that. I'm going to watch this. If Squirrel Dude does shut this down, he will be streets ahead in this game. That's for sure. He will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself down so there's just, there's just Gorilla there. There you go. So now people know. Oh, he, he ran around there. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Now he's got to get the ball off of Blodger too. And, uh, yeah, I think Squirrel Dude's going to get out of this half one nothing. That's a pretty big turnaround in the face of those early Kazes and uh, maybe kind of getting himself into trouble and having to score a little bit sooner than he would have liked. So can his, no, his tackler is going to be out of range, too, of the Witch Elf. So he's going to have to power up Lodger here. Or he's got a wrestler. He's got a wrestler in range. A couple wrestlers. Oh, no, he's got a wrestle tackle right there. So I think, yeah, that wrestle tackle is going to have to make that a two die. Got a shot at it. Well, we're going to stare at the wrong side of the field for a while until Jim gets back. So... Oh, oh, Jim, Jim heard me. All right, here we go. So I think you got to get an assist in and get that uh, wrestle tackle. Give him a leap, a leap blitz, I think. Get on the witch, and then you've got... A guy for recovery, and you've got the edge guy that can kind of you can jump up and still score. Or you can, yeah, to throw your three Ds first, I guess. Not entirely sure. I'd. Uh, I think he's got a decent shot to get the ball. I think I wouldn't be doing anything too unsafe. I mean, three Ds not that unsafe, but I think I'd just be going for it right now. What? All right. Well, it looks like 
Wolfbark has decided he just doesn't want to score at all and wants to take all his hits he can. I guess he still has jump up hit on the on the witch, but I, I would have preferred to see the Rackler make a blitz on her. And so now does he dodge out, take the two dice? No, just the jump up hit, gets a skull, and into a push. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of that. I'd love to hear Jim's uh, Jim's commentary on that when he gets back. Um, I think he had a relatively decent shot at a score there. And he just abandoned it for the hits and got nothing in return. That's a curious decision. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I mean, I definitely understand the uh, the logic behind it. I just don't think it was quite warranted. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's really curious. Hello, I just heard you saying you're curious. Yeah, uh, so I don't know if you watched that turn or not, Jim. I didn't. I was away making a okay. cup of tea. So he, uh, Wolfbark opted to go for just straight on uh, bash attrition hits instead of making any sort of concerted effort to score there at the end. It was uh, mm. an interesting decision. Did not pay off at all. Didn't get anything for his trouble. But he had a pretty, pretty good shot at a 2D with Rackle and then a guy to recover and another guy to score. Um, and just completely didn't take that shot. Interesting. I mean, to be fair, he has done quite well at making two dice blocks and hoping to roll well, so maybe he's wanted to stick to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. I, I just feel like that was uh, that wasn't that bad a shot to score. I mean, it wasn't yeah. it wasn't a guarantee, but I feel like the odds of him removing more than one player were about the same as him scoring. Yeah. And if you're just going to remove one player and not score versus remove a player, you know, versus not remove anyone and score, I'd take the score personally. But yeah, what do but... I know? I'm only the current reigning champ of the SFW. <laughs> the reigning defending. <laughs> That's not the league name. The <laughs> SFL. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I can't say I'm defending because I'm currently just watching someone else win it. But... <laughs> <laughs> Undisputed <laughs> SFW and SFW, the new Scurro Federated Wrestling. That's when we finally get bullshit, bullshit sick of uh, Vince McTath. Min I think wow, yours I one talk. should be like Scurro, not Scurro, and then not Jim. Right, but like wrestling. <laughs> Scuro, and then like Jim in, like better than sing symbol, then Jim wrestling. So you can be SJW, which will, which will fit you <laughs> perfectly. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to trigger all the fucking losers in your chat, though. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, I thought that would be nice for your for your wrestling. Yeah, that's, sure. yeah. <laughs> I liked uh, I liked Kaki's shit wrestling personally. Yeah, the shit wrestling was incredible. I forget what it stands for now. Skurmetsu. Yeah, I don't know. Something superhero it was good. training. <laughs> I can't believe that was an actual gimmick. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> that made it better. Wasn't oh, it? I it forgot. Was just... I had... wow, I forgot about that. High intensity tournaments, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think if this is all still going come uh, Survivor Series season, maybe we'll see uh, a return to the high intensity. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> high Do a Scuro invasion. Yeah, it'd be pretty good. Invade a Mezzo.
be good. That would be good teams for for Survivor Series, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, that was my thinking. Is that we? I mean, I've, I've, we're definitely going to have to do that, but we'll have to uh, rekindle the gym. The gym. Uh, well, I think it'll have to be Jim and Gorilla for that. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So we'll come up with something. We don't need to spoil it now. I mean, no one will remember in four months. Yeah. <laughs> Survivor, yeah. whatever. No, we watch well, you know, in four months. I got some. Remember. I got some terrible news that will actually be a boon to the uh, to the JFW, uh, and actually is surprisingly good news. Uh, my trip to Antarctica that I was going on in December got canceled because of COVID worries. Uh, well, it got delayed a year, so I will be around for um, the. Uh, the month of <laughs> of uh, Survivor Series, oh, glorious, and whatnot. Yeah, I got delayed a year because of COVID concerns, but it's fine because I was like actively concerned that we were going to force our way onto a boat during a, yeah, you know, a, a second, uh, you know, a second round of COVID. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. It also exposes his uh, his AV seven guard that that uh, Wolfbach's been violently targeting. Um. <laughs> Antarctica voted to delay school. Yeah, well, that's okay. Absolutely. It delays. Delays fine. It's not like uh, it's not terrible. Yeah, fun, yeah, it's it? yeah, it's way better. I mean, it, you know, we're still not sure if we're going to do our wedding this year either, and that's in October. So yeah, it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't a great turn, was it? Starting the two plus that if you fail, you fail. Ooh, not sure yeah. about this. Ooh. Oh boy, OFL stuff. Ooh. Did you get any good free agents? Yeah, I got a strength for Bludge Blitzer. Not bad. What are you playing? You're playing Dark Elves? Mm-hmm. Nice. I won my I won mine for my uh, my palm white. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, I saw that. You you had a bit of a war, didn't you? A little bit of one. I mean he gave he actually gave up pretty quick. I was like, well, I have like six hundred TV or something like that, or 585 TV that I can spend on this guy. Because, <laughs> uh, or not quite, I had like 400 TV after my other two. So, like, yeah, I think I'd much rather have a Palmer than not have a Palmer. <laughs> mm. Well, I was willing to go quite a bit higher. Yeah. But I've never done anything in OFL, especially with free agents, so I have no idea if I was overpaying or not. No, it doesn't matter. It's done now, isn't it? You'll, you'll only count as his normal price for the... Uh, for the yeah, that's that, that was my thinking. And, and I was like, there's not really much on a Dark El or on a Undead team that I want that money for. Like, I didn't even... I wasn't even sure if I could spend past 1100 anyway with yeah. that spare money. So, like, why not get that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was, there's some nice linemen, actually, for, for Dark Elves. There's some really nice linemen, but... Uh, they were too expensive because the the tax would have would have put them out of my range. So he was basically the most I could get, and then no one else would got him. Four dark elf teams, and nobody else wanted him. Incredible. Not bad. I was very I was pleased with my decisions because uh, both the ghoul and the other white that I got. So the white I got is just a mighty blow guy, but he's on fourteen out of sixteen. And then the ghoul I got is Blodge sure hands and is 28 out of 31. So nice. they should both be able to level up in like a single game. Yeah, I like that. That, I, that seemed like pretty good value to me. Yeah, I did the same kind of thing. I, uh, <coughs> I actually had 610 TV worth of free agents because I got one that was just about to level up. It put me, to, it took me to 590 and he was about to level up. <laughs> so, nice. So I yeah. got him, then he leveled up and I was over the limit and I was pretty happy, but then he got killed by, uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking lucky. That's right, ladies world. and gentlemen. This is Gorilla Mezzo and Jim McMahon calling the SFL finals while we are talking about neither, <laughs> neither the SFL or the JFW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geeks, you're on the continent. <laughs> if you're keeping track at home. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a... <laughs> a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a... A thing. Oh, he's not He's not doing much defending here, is he, Skrull Dude? Do you think he's playing for the overtime? I guess he kind of is now. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think he must be. I actually thought for a minute there, uh, which would have been surprising, but I thought... Uh, Wolfbark looked like he was going to rush the score and try and win in regular time, but he doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough removals to really consider that. 
Mm. I think you're fighting someone who's uh, more on your level, Geeks. But I forget offhand now. Yeah, I, f I forget who it is, but you can you can do this. You can there's there's the link. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick. I will be right back. Alrighty then. He hasn't been activating the uh, crocs a lot, has he? I mean, I understand that he likes having him stood there, activated with you know guard and stand firm, but you know. He can be three dicing fools with mighty blow. Activate him, Wolfbark, you pussy. <laughs> Only joking, of course. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> oh man, shit, cunt, fuckbear could be a could be a wrestler as well, couldn't he? from Skuro. <laughs> right, I'm just going to be gone for a second actually. Sorry, bad timing here. Ces joueurs sont tout poche. Le combat paraît inévitable. Alright, I'm back. Hello. I was only joking. I was joking about calling him a pussy, but uh, that could have been three dice if he'd done it with a crocs. Really not liking using his crocs here. I, 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 don't, I disagree with his strategies here. He could get a <laughs> one dice on the ball here quite easily. Uh, oh, did I forget to mute? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, was just, I, was, I was whistling at my dogs to give me a treat, and then one of them snapped the treat out of my hand. <laughs> oh, oh God, look at that. Double skulls followed by double skulls. <coughs> Gruel dude uses a reroll there. Maybe he shouldn't have. Um, I I feel like he's, you know, I feel like he's given up the drive. And I just don't see how he's going to stop the score here. Yeah, I'm not sure the way he's playing why he would reroll that. Yeah. I guess he's terrified of... No, that guy doesn't even have Mighty Blow. I thought that for some reason I thought Stan Firm was Mighty Blow for a second. Like, if that was a Mighty Blow hit, I wouldn't want to take the double skulls right now. But, oof, this is falling apart for him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. He's had some shit dice, but then, you know, Wolfbark had some shit dice before him, so... Well, you know what overtime means, Jim. Mm. <laughs> it means JFW is going to be even later. <laughs> yeah, even more delayed. I don't think we're starting in two minutes, folks. No, no. <sighs> no. Very sad times. Having to watch Bloodborne instead of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's good, though. It's good, the SFL. I'm happy to be joining there next season, hopefully. And uh, like, I think I'm in. I don't know if I'm not if I'm guaranteed in or not, but I think I'm. I think I'll be in. And, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, I pull a lot of cloud over there as I am the current reigning champion of the uh, SFL. I don't know if you heard. Yeah, uh, I got Sorry, a feeling. I got a feeling right. you got a pretty good. Go shot fuck yourself. Season. Are you surprised he pushed him there? And he also didn't sidestep to there. Would you have sidestepped into here? I would have sidestepped into here. Um, uh, give up another hit on her, though? Yeah. Uh, I guess it's a blockless hit, too. Yeah, mm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because that... But, I, I mean, at this point, again, we're talking, you know, preservation for OT. Yeah. I can kind of understand the sidestep. Uh, I agree, though. I think I would have taken well, the ball down as Wolfbark, personally. Do you think won. so with her having jump up? Yeah, I would have taken them both down, and then I would because I wouldn't have wanted him to, uh, to, uh, you know, I wouldn't have wanted the sidestep to here, and then him have to block, and then the sidestep to there, and then you're in a it, you're just horrible if you push her twice. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah, good point. Big big brain plays by Jim there. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Flicky Flack. 
<laughs> oh. <Yeah>. oh dear. <laughs> All right, glorious puzzle. I uh, I missed out on the whole Wayne Fair is a dick memory. He was just a person that existed until everyone started dating him. <laughs> but I have I have noticed in some Artemis streams he gets awful excited about people looking at his uh, uh, his uh, CCL teams. Yeah. And no one wants to ever. <laughs> oh, wow, J5. Hey, Flicky. Dear me. God, I'm so hot. I, the problem with drinking tea in this weather is as soon as I've eaten it, drink it, drink it, swallowed it, I'm just fucking boiling. <laughs> Not great. Do you uh, do you have laws against icing tea over there? No, no. So here's a here's a little pro tip from from uh, just a, a an American from a city that likes to pour their tea into the ocean. Um, <laughs> if you put ice in it, it'll be cold when you drink it, so it won't make you hot when you're done drinking it. Right. Would it would it taste just as nice? I mean, it's dirt and water either way. It's just whether it's hot or cold dirt and water. I don't really like uh, cold tea. When I drink it, when I make a cup of tea, and it gets cold. I kind of stop drinking it. <laughs> well, that's lukewarm, not cold. Hmm. <laughs> Night <Demon. laughs> Hello, Night Demon. We're gonna be a little bit delayed on uh, JFW tonight. We're finishing up this uh, this uh, Skirmezzo Invitational Championship game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Silly uh, is, that, is that where we're at with him? Fair enough. Because I can see why people would uh, would pull the pitchforks out for that one. <laughs> I hope. Been rather passive with the old sidesteps here, uh, which is fine. I'm not criticizing him for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I actually have, I have a couple of friends whose professional jobs are to, uh, they're reenactors of the Boston Tea Party. They have like a boat out in the harbor. And they like have tourists come in and they like, you know, like they act like revolutionaries and then they pretend to dump tea in the water and they get paid to do that, like for a living. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, what the fuck are we doing with our lives? They're making more money. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I just meant the fucking Americans would give that much of a shit about No, it. no, they're they're uh, they're they're uh, they're close people. They're close people, close friends of mine, people I know pretty closely. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not criticizing them. I was criticizing that people would pay for them to do it. <laughs> oh no, I mean it's like a tourist thing. It's no different than uh, you go to like the Tower of London. You see the B theater guards there. Those guys are basically just fucking paid tour guides. Yeah. Yeah, but like, you know, Britain's got some good history, see? It's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the rest of the world calls most of British history uh, uh, fan fiction written by the British people, so... <laughs> if, we led the world in this first! If British this... history is fan fiction, what's American history? Oh, no, no. oh, hey, you're not going to get me to say anything positive about this shit. <laughs> Did he not have a square room and left there? I, I'm not sure I like this. I guess it would not work. <laughs> it works, it works. <laughs> Only have nine minutes of history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lemon, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good point. But anyway, I was only joking. I don't give a shit. I, know, I, don't care. I don't give a shit about anything. <laughs> that's uh that's, that should be the JFW slogan. <laughs> Instead of then now forever. JFW. I don't give a shit about anything. 
<laughs> That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's it's slightly better than then now. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, no lemon is good. Okay, I guess Simeon teams in Blood Bowl is the only thing I care about. <laughs> that's a, that's a, dude, you gotta get help, man. <laughs> you need a wellness check or something. <laughs> that's the only thing I care about. <laughs> oh, <yay>. <laughs> you can take our lives, but you'll never give me Simeon's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you think about Whoop Park right now? I feel like I, I would be a lot more comfortable if I was like two, three squares up right now. It's weird, isn't it? Um, what's weird about it is Skuro, uh, Skuro, not Skuro, your Skuro, Squirrel, <laughs> fuck me, I'm bad at that. Squirrel has basically <laughs> decided to not defend at all and roll shit, and yet he's still defending somehow. So I guess Whoop Park has played this badly. That's that's my yeah. Take on it. Yeah, it feels it feels it a little bit, yeah. yeah. Or how about how about this one, Night Demon? JFW. <laughs> then now, uh, we just need fifteen more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> then now, have you turned off the commentary? Storm, would it be Matt Stone Fault Force? That could be good. Storm. <laughs> Ham Force Stone. JFW. Then, now. Insert brainworms emoji. Ah, yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Plenty of time. Yeah, he does have plenty of time. And and now he's actually made the forward movement, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. But he now he's not done until now. <laughs> oh, dear me. Is he going to make a three dice block? <laughs> yeah! He is. Pays off, too. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. Yeah, he is dodge. But it, it got him, it got him, you know... Nowhere, but it could have done. <laughs> oh, he, if he got the push, he would have had the bear on three characters, wouldn't he? That would have been really nice if he got the push there. Super nice if he'd got the push. But he didn't. But then he, it, it frees up this guy, so that's good anyway. He's going to make a foul. It's a very athletic foul, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Antonio Chrome. I like the Antonio Chrome, Uh And his, like, 18 kids or whatever he's got. <laughs> he's got 18 kids. Oh, have you never seen that video? Yeah, there's this great interview where he's talking about his kid. He has, like, I think he has, like, eight kids. He has a lot of kids, though. <laughs> uh, but he's, like, naming them, and then he starts forgetting their names. It's pretty wonderful. It's pretty wonderful. But, like, you can't fault the dude. Like, who needs? Who can remember eight names at once? I oh, know, right? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Soon, TM. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chromarty has fourteen children in total, with many different. He has women. fourteen. Fuck! Wow, I thought I was, I thought I was like, I was like overstating it, and he was gonna have like five, and I was gonna feel like an idiot, so I kind of downplayed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? Wow. Fourteen children. <laughs> oh, the bread man. <laughs> and also <in> the bread mask. 
<laughs> JF. I mean, what is what does Squirrel Dude even do here? Uh, just wait for the second. Wait for the third half. <laughs> yeah. He's only down Hope to ten men. It's not he does have a. He does have a babe. They both have babes, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got. Uh, Squirrel Dude's got one babe, and Wolfbark's got two. Uh, okay. So I guess he just. Uh, yeah, just Tries wait to for kill the second someone. half. Wait for the third half. So. Chain, chains the witch out, which is good. Yeah. Well, not completely out, but out enough. Gets the armor break, but no removal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Had a vasectomy and his balls were like, Fuck you, dude. Here's twins. <laughs> he's, he's like oh uber calcium, God. isn't he? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's fucking uber calcium. <laughs> or he got cooked. Maybe. Oh, I, I doubt it, though. He's Antonio Cromarty, isn't he? <laughs> oh, dear. I much prefer the idea of a vasectomy not being able to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I also... <laughs> Both agree and believe with that. Or, or, <laughs> I will, I will offer this one up. His wife lobbied hard for him to get the vasectomy, and he lied about getting the vasectomy because mm. he didn't actually want the vasectomy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> that, that is a thing that probably happens more often than you'd expect. Yeah, yeah, that's no, that's that's totally understandable. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, but I can. Not speak. <laughs> Believe me, as as someone with no intention of having kids myself, the idea of a vasectomy is still pretty terrifying. <laughs> mm, yeah, eighteen kids—that's incredible, isn't it? Hello, Tony, the champ. By the way, I don't know if you know Tony. You uh, you won the belt last night. Well, um, if uh, if if uh, sixteen of those eighteen kids end up having uh, the same football acumen as him. <laughs> He's going to be doing just fine. We'll yeah. have a whole fucking team on his hands. <laughs> yeah. Incredible, isn't it? 16. 18 kids. What's that? He can have the entire secondary, can't he? <laughs> and some wide receivers as well. Yep. Incredible. <laughs> He's got a whole practice squad for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Imagine being the middle kid in that family. Like, I know they're with different women and probably different family units, but still. <laughs> oh, look at dog, because that push was a, was a sh such a shit push, wasn't it? That was super lucky. He should not have... Uh, well, I guess he had to block anyway, but it was still super lucky. I don't like the, the, his positioning there. He had an extra player. He could have put that... Player like, you know, out here or something. Because if they've got the push there, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's just yeah, that easy, witch can he? that witch can get a hit on him. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, he didn't break AV, but um, he made the dodge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still consider going for it, I guess. Right? Like, what else are you can do with your life? Yeah, no, I, I, you can tell I was miles away there. Yeah. Cool. No. <laughs> Not gonna do it with a two, though. Yeah. And no harm on the witch. So it's overtime. Oh no, he's got a shot at a one turn, right? He's got. He's gonna have enough players for a one turn effort. Yeah, yeah. He's also Not easy. Get, get a three dice here with Bark. Yeah. One turn and sidestep on her. That's not. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. I think it's unlikely. Oh, sure. 
Not going for the handoff there, unlike Yak. <laughs> did you see that Yak played Sogo in the first round of the CCL playoffs and just did a fucking handoff on turn 16? Did it? Did it cost him the game? No, he he, he made it and scored. He didn't go <laughs> wow. Time. But it was still pretty fucking dodgy. I'm surprised they were able to play each other. Uh, you know, they knew they were trying to spin and uh, couldn't uh, <laughs> I don't know how that was going to work. I, there's a joke there. You got the joke. I delivered it poorly, though. Yeah. Got there in the end. Yeah. <laughs> so it might be 10 men for overtime, but uh, nine men here, yeah, this is going to be pretty tough. Especially as, as Wool of Bark has two oh, stand firm men's. Yeah. Question is though, I mean, it's a little scary. It's a little scary putting those two players. I mean, not the bear, I guess, but like, I don't know if I'd want to put that other stand firm on the line to prevent the the one turn because it is a pretty tough one turn anyway, and yeah. you really do need them for overtime. Yeah, that's a good point. It seems like a hard one to make. I I would be tempted to yeah just leave it, let the dice decide. You yeah. Put three shitlords on the LOS. And if he does all the rolls, good for him. Yeah, because, like, I don't know. Squirrel still has to make those dodges. He doesn't have any edge five. So, yeah. you know. And, mm, also, there'd be yeah. a chance of him using a reroll and still failing. Yeah. I, I Honestly, J5, I'm kind of with you. Like, I, I would consider, yeah, setting up for a riot, maximizing my hits. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yarp. That's going to be super hard one turn. I think not trying it is the best. Yeah, even setting up for a quick snap just to maximize your hits on, on, on all the kiss left. <laughs> right now, the way it's currently set up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think definitely playing for the one turn, uh, playing for the riot is the best here. This is essentially impossible. Impossible. He did leave a gap, yeah. Weird. Not that I think it will matter much. And also, it's not a gap with tackle, right? If he'd had the two... Oh, he's got diamond tackle, though. So he's got diamond tackle. Uh, so squirrel yeah, dude... Think, yeah, Squirrel dude's thinking about it. You certainly can't put your re-roll into it, though, especially when you're down two re-rolls. Yeah. No, I think... I think If if Wolfbar had made it easier, he might have been tempted to put a re-roll into it. <laughs> but now it's so hard that I think he's only going to re-roll like the last roll or whatever. Yeah. And probably better off doing a riot, setting up for a riot. That's my t that's my take. Set up for a riot. Yeah, I mean, if he set up for a riot and was like heavy on the left side, and he got it, he would just win. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's nothing there stopping him. Yeah. That's a blitz. That's kind of the opposite <laughs> to it right here. Well, yep. I'm uh, pretty sure the uh, the one turn is now off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's either going to hit the guard. It's hard for him to get an assist against the guard, so he's probably going to hit the witch. Elf I, I'd probably guard. just hit that witch. I mean, the thing is here, like... I mean, I guess you would have to really try hard to fuck up your, your, your one turn defense on a blitz, but like... <laughs> if he go, you know, if he brings someone out of position and accidentally makes it easier for him to one turn. <laughs> People have done that, but I don't think Yeah, yeah. Or... I don't think either of these guys are going to fall for that shit, but no. you never know. Like, if he doesn't get the witch down... Oh, well, she can't go forward, so... Yeah. And she's down. Probably dead, too. Nope. Oh. Survives. He should foul, right? Because he's got a reserve. Ah, but then I, I guess I guess 
Squirrel dude still got some hits. I think he probably should have moved that guy one back and then should have gone for a foul. Maybe. Mm. Doesn't want to use a reroll though, and so you don't want to GFI and then fail and get a guy injured. So I guess he just ends the turn now. End the fucking turn, man! End the fucking turn, man! <laughs> like, he can't foul with anybody, can he? Like, this is the only skillless guy. I guess he could leap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he could leap for the foul. No, not anymore. Yeah, he could have brought two in, and then he could have leaped for the foul. That would have been all right. Why, 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 not, why not get the extra assist? Oh, you lucky bastard. Wow. You fucking you the... lucky cunt. I mean, Glorious. no offence. No, I won't give in. Oh, he's moving fast. But this guy could have definitely and assisted, I will defend. couldn't he? I will that was defend. crazy not assisting with him. This guy was Glorious. movement five, to be fair. Jim so G. Assisted. He was movement five, but that's crazy to not assist with with him. Right. Sorry about that. I missed. I missed who that was. <laughs> I was calling Wolfpack a lucky cut. <laughs> Lean, yeah. Of course, I was only joking. It wasn't. It wasn't a mean uh, lucky cunt. It was a. It was a more. Why can't I be that lucky sometimes? Lucky God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Lean Gary, for staying fantastic for four and a half beaver pregnancies or two human pregnancies. Thank you very much. All right, and here it is, overtime. Uh, the rules of overtime are a little different in SFL, if you didn't know. Oh. Um, if you have to go to overtime for the win... Your uh, championship does not count as much as the previous championship, so we are going to have to declare Skiramezzo the reigning champion of the SFL for another season. <laughs> I don't make the rules here. Shawnee, I think, did. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, looking like Wolfpark is going to be the first EU champion, isn't it, here? Well, uh, seems likely. He's done exactly what I said. Uh, make plenty of two dice blocks and roll good on the two d six. Well, one of those was a foul. Also. Uh, true, but he still rolled good on two d six. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> and to be fair, if Squirrel did it set up for the right, you'd have still got that guy punched. So, not a lot he could have done there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bezel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I had um, in my in my first rebel game of the season, I made something like eight KO rolls and passed one with a with a babe. <laughs> that wasn't the luckiest I've ever been. Tbh. That's well, just a rookie mistake, Jim. You really want your KOs to come back onto the pitch uh, after your KO rolls. Yeah. It was definitely stupid. Stupid play. No, there's more than that, I think. There was eight in the playoffs, Lean Gary. I really can only pay attention to the ones at the top, and since I'm the current reigning champion of the SFL, I don't know any of the other teams. <laughs> <laughs> the reigning, defending, undisputed <laughs> SFL champion of the world. <laughs> the main rules are there's no piling on allowed and no wizards allowed. I'm trying, Muppet. I'm trying. <laughs> but you got to do it with some nuance. See, I can't just, like, bring it up all the time because that would just be annoying. I have to work it in casually like a champion would. And <laughs> speaking of champions, I am the current champion of the SFM, <laughs> if you didn't know. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Soft reset. Lovely jubbly. 
So yeah, this is looking real, real nice for Wolfbark. My understanding of how the soft reset works is you forget about the SFL in the off season <laughs> until Squirrel Dude tracks you down, yells at you in a private message, and tells you how to build your team. <laughs> I'm not naming names or anything. I'm just saying that's generally my personal experience. <laughs> Well, Lean Guerra, I mean, when you talk about the competition, you have to start at the champion, and the current champion is Skirmets. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, the competition isn't very tough. Um, I'm in next um, season. I started off in it, Lean Gary, for about three turns, and then I realized I had to play Blood Bowl, so I quit. <laughs> Against Wolfpark, funnily enough, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Skuromezzo is the current champion. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kicks <up. laughs> So good, I didn't even have to mention him last time. That yeah. is streets ahead. <laughs> I don't know, I think you're streets behind, personally. <laughs> well... <laughs> Playing very safe now with Bark, isn't he? Which is fair enough, he's got the full eight turns to score, he's in no rush. Yep. Playing it totally safe is the uh, is the way. That's the way to do it. And now uh, Skrull Dude has got to go balls to the wall. Balls to the walls! Oh shit, it's gonna get noisy here. Skura has a bit of a necromantic team there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I said Skura has a bit of a necromantic team there. <laughs> <laughs> this will pass in a minute. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Tyson. <laughs> it's, it's Sage there, in, I can hear in the background. <laughs> no. Um, um, a cop car drove by and my dogs howl at cop cars. Uh, <laughs> I'm the I'm the new <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, Lemon, yeah. The, <laughs> the last part of the sage that sounds exactly. <laughs> Goddamn right, Fizzle. <laughs> Our UPS guy lives in my town. He lives up the street from me. And, uh... One of my dogs fucking hates him. Like just, <laughs> he hates all delivery guys, but he especially hates that GPS guy. Uh, and he bit him once. Not bad, but he did bite him once when we were out on a walk and he came up to say hi. He jumped up and bit him in the arm. And uh, I walked by his house. This is a few years ago now. And I was like, oh, he's got a Trump fucking sign up. No wonder. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Right, well, I mean, he can, he can just run over here, can't he? And then maybe splits in with the Rackala. Either the Rackala or three dice with the uh, bear. So this shouldn't be a problem for a uh, Woolworth Bark. Unless he's moving down, he can reach. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bear is a bear is a croxagon muppet, so he's pretty damn good. Hmm. Don't know where he's moving to. Was he handing it off? Ooh, oh, to the edge guy. Ooh. <laughs> Makes sense, like strength three block. Yeah. Garden both yeah, I agree. sides. See Still scary. Yeah, it is a bit scary, but there's only one wrestle for. Uh, well, is there only one wrestle? Probably only one wrestle. Can't be bothered to look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. Barely pointed at the action. <laughs> <laughs> there's probably only one wrestle for the Dark Elves. Um. 
<laughs> and yeah, you'd, you'd rather have the ball in a strength three blocker than a strength two dodger, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, J5, yeah. Yeah, he should be on four legs all the time, shouldn't he? Yeah, bears stand up. Yeah, but why? Like, not all the time, not like this. Should be lazy, he should be on four legs, shouldn't he? Bears stand up. <laughs> bears do stand up, but not all match. Well, he doesn't stand up all match because he goes on to all fours to move. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right in Blitz Pit, him standing up during his turn would be okay, but not, not in <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is neither. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. There you go. Thanks, Johnny Five. Shut this mass hole up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think J Five's ever seen a bear before. <laughs> he has just not, not, not a, the type that's on a kid's left team. <laughs> wow, see him in the sage, power. Yeah, Sage Wisdom by Bezel. Yeah, I mean. Using four legs, yeah. Maybe you should and just you gotta, sit like, down. And you gotta like bend shit. <laughs> Maybe the bear should just sit down. That'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a pot of honey. Yeah, and that'd be great if he just sat down after he finished moving. <laughs> that actually would be pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, the bear moving on two legs would be awful. <laughs> Waddling. Around. In fairness, if you look at the team he's on, they're always constantly moving, so... <laughs> yeah. Oof. Mm, uh-oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm sitting down. Uh, he can, now he can still run past them. Yeah. Yeah, he's got plenty of movement. Yeah. I don't think this bear has gone stupid once, uh, has it? I think it did once, actually. Um, but he hasn't activated. He's hardly activated him. He's he's really tried to activate mm. him as little as possible. And it has paid off for him. The bear the bear would be nice to get the bear in here, wouldn't it? Then he's guard for him and guard for him. That would be real nice. He's not doing it, though. He's making the cage corner. Which is fair enough, isn't it? Getting guard in the cage corner is nice. Ooh, Lean Gara looking to be a unifier, sort of. <laughs> oh, Lean Gary, all right. Glorious. Have we had have we had a dual champion in the internet? No, we haven't had we haven't mm -hmm. had them in that way before. No, so that would be a first if Lean Gary is to hold the both stream belts. That would be a first. I wonder oh, what he was baby. going to do with this guy. If he was going to GFI with this guy, he should have stood in. If he wasn't going to GFI, oh no, it's a wrestle. All right, he still should. If he's not going to GFI, he should have still moved him first, though, right? If he's not GFIing with these two guys, he should have moved them first anyway. Because that could have been quad skulls, couldn't it? So he gets away with one there, does Wolf Bark. Gets away with one, does Wolf Bark. We'll do your match uh, after Death Zone, Lean Gary. Things were already, things were already late running into Death Zone. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty safe now, isn't it? This from Wolf Park. Yeah. I think we're just a single, a single desperation dive away from calling this game. Yeah. And again, he's not done the safe moves first, has he, uh, Squirrel Dude? Could have moved these guys both back up first. Did not make his safe moves first. Power Apple! I know, right, Lemon? Jesus. Inconsiderate, isn't he? He's even on the card as well, Wolfbark. <laughs> Should have done Wolfbark versus Squirrel Dude on the card, shouldn't I? Fuck. Missed a trick there. 
could just edit it and make it Wolfpack versus Squirrel Dude, actually. Whoa, he's done the dive! Wow. Without well, a reroll. Had a shot, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, that guy does not have sidestep, so. Easily cleared, I think. Whoa. Although, again, though, like, he's got a lot of guys up and in contact now. Uh, Wolfbark could get himself into a little bit of trouble protecting the ball the next turn. Yeah. Getting away this turn. Yeah. Always a risk, especially if he has bad dice. Hasn't had to use a reroll yet this half. Or this drive. No. Um, yeah, he used it on a double skull first block. Which oh. meant maybe he should have uh, changed tack. And... Uh, not gone for the sack. There's no reroll, but hmm. he went for the he went for the sack anyway, didn't he? I think he would have if he'd had a reroll, he would have used it then. And I think that would have been the right play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did not have it. We look great, don't we, in the bottom corner here, Gorilla? I, I think so. Yeah. Very happy with that. My favourite part is looking at me. Yeah. My favourite part is looking at me. <laughs> oh, then we agree. <laughs> I like looking at me often. Just in real life, I just often look at myself. I oh, just... I'm a disaster. What did I do here? Hang on. <laughs> I look at myself and think, damn, I look sexy. Alright, now I'm back. I just can't help it. I'm just like, yeah. Dave. <laughs> he should be Dave. Dave is going to be the highlight of that match, I'm sure. <laughs> is he? Is he on the? Is he on that show? He is. Yeah, he's he's dominating oh, a triple boy. threat probably. Dave. <laughs> oh God, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information, Levin. Yeah, maybe we should just have Dave headlining every single show. <laughs> <laughs> Dave! <laughs> we fails his leap. I think that was the right decision because obviously a block could have, you know, he couldn't block him with a sidestep. <laughs> I guess he's going to go for the uh, sack again. Does he have a wrestler? He does have the wrestler. He, he could go yeah. for the wrestle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, 1D. I like that because, okay, he might fail the dodging and the G and the dodges and everything. Sure, he's less likely to do all them. But if you do all of them, then you've got the wrestle for the, the hit and the reward. Yeah. So I, I really would have liked to have seen that, even though it's... I know it's... I, uh, I don't know. I think that would have been a pretty good turn for that tackle mighty blow guy to get a hit on a get a hit on a kiss lev and try and try and take one guy out base everyone up again get a shot at it next turn i, I don't know yeah I'd... i guess he's just got too many players like you really aren't gonna lock him down at this point but yeah i mean compared to what scroll dude did i think it would have been better to have done it yeah with the wrestler if you're not gonna go for it at all then yeah you can you can hit with the the mighty blow and then you can get a surf as well then can't you which is all right um so like he had an easy surf but then you've got the potential of just losing if you do that so <laughs> oh dear me at this point that's <laughs> been at every point <laughs> Dave, <laughs> making them blue. <laughs> no, I'm not, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. 
but uh, some of them, some of the wrestlers are less inspired than others. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fair to say. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Muppet. That's the main thing. Or be around when I make them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to make some new ones. <laughs> and get the proper shade of blue. I got to, got to remake a dev really because I don't like. I don't like the blue dude. But you know what's happening tomorrow? Fucking eye racing. Oh baby, I still don't know what that is. It's like just you know, car racing. That's it. Uh, sounds like uh, a step down from uh, J5 will remember these days. I don't know, maybe Bezel too. The old uh, can't drive this days with uh, he who shall not be named. Those are some good streams. You remember that game, Jim? What game? It was called Can't Drive This. Never heard of it. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it, uh... One person had to do all the driving, and the other person had to, like, lay the track down for them as they were going. <laughs> and, like, it, basically it just made the two people hate each other. It was, like, the most effective simulation of making two people absolutely hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forget exactly how it worked, but... One person had to steer and the other person had to like navigate or something like that. And um, it was, uh, it was brutal. <laughs> and then trying to play it with Fash, who obviously assumed everything he was doing was correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, would, you would have lasted about eight seconds playing that game. <laughs> Before putting your fist through your computer. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was actually surprisingly good at doing ball trials, which was pretty disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh I think we can uh, I think we can call it quits on this and get to the yeah. uh, the yeah. wrestling. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know it's, it's <laughs> the last turn now, isn't it? So I'll finish All the right. video properly. Unless, unless Wolfbar's going to be an asshole and do a bunch of passes for next season, which he might do. <laughs> it's not being an asshole, is it? It's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Bizzle. He knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Predetermined. <laughs> oh, dear. It is over. Congrats to Wolfbark, the new uh, reigning champion of SFL. Asterisk, um, he had to do it in overtime. <laughs> commiserations, Squirrel Metzl, no longer the champion. Commiserations to Squirrel Dude, who's the loser. Thank, thank you, Bizzle. Thank you, Tarsus. I appreciate it. I, I don't want to step on the moment here. That was a great game. Uh, so I won't do my victory speech now. But just know, as the reigning champion of the SFL, you're no longer the reigning champion. Ah, uh, the crowd <laughs> says otherwise, Jim. Wow. Look at that. He didn't. He did actually. He did actually activate him a fair amount. Fourteen times on like twenty-two turns, and didn't fail one bone head. Outrageous. When has a crowd of people ever been wrong in the past, Jim? <laughs> right. Anyway, so there you go. That's it. Thank you for uh, the core commentary, Skurometso. You can be Skurometso now. It's your real name. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, it's not really your real name, is it? But, you know, it's your username on Twitch. <laughs> Don't dox me. <laughs> it's your username on Twitch. That's not doxing somebody. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dave. Uh, right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.